All right, people, welcome back. More DN Duel commentary. So we are joined by Ryan from Team Ninja. What's cracking, guys? Or whatever you change the name to. <laughs> what is it again? Ninja TV. Ninja TV, okay. So a uh, link to Ninja TV will be in the description. You might have already saw uh, an interesting video of someone destroying uh, a precious card. Uh, I guess I put it onto the channel yesterday. But uh, anyway, uh, we have... Ryan here, uh, joining us on the commentary, and of course can talk about that Utah trip. Woo! Because I had a, I had a really hard time talking and discussing it on Monday. I think I had just opted out to talk about it on Monday, uh, simply because fucking just fuck me. <laughs> and uh, uh, Ryan can also give uh, his point of view for the whole trip. So right, I don't do know that? about fucking, but man, this guy just dropped vanities and dynamists. Yeah, like like what is this? Like sinister yokai, and then bam, here's fucking vanities fiend. Like all right. Uh, anyway, we have Renya Ryoyu at 741 and Taco Eater at 760. Uh, you know, it's by, it, this definitely seems like there's a different event, especially from what we've seen from Utah Regionals, but I don't think there's much going up from Utah Regionals right now. As a player? Uh, not that I saw. It was a lot of... I don't even know where to start on that one. I just saw... The only thing that threw me off uh, was... Was it Reno's game? Well, mm -hmm. there's a few, but Reno's game, like his, he went game two. He won game one, I think it was. He went game two, and his opponent went first, summoned Mega Thessalo, saw his hand, and then scooped. Yeah, it was dumb. It was dumb. It was like, Reno was not the best of players, not the best of judge, but it was a fine experience. So, uh, when it comes to how I did in the tournament, I'll go ahead and talk about it uh, tomorrow on Daily Duels. So, I'm uh, going to avoid uh, talking about that because the deck profile will go up tomorrow. But uh, just just overall experience, go ahead and talk. So we were in the same car. Eight people went. And uh, two cars, so no one had to sit and bitch at least. Wow, it's just going to summon Maxi and attack into it because he's like, fuck it. <laughs> well, if I saw Vanities and Madisies, I'd have fucking scoop too. Hey, Holy where's that shit. Regeki though? <laughs> I said there might have been something from Taku there if he didn't get hit with that Solemn Morning. But that Solemn Morning preceded by the Sinister Yokai locking him down with Majesties and Vanities. Like, let's go. Right. But, uh... Yeah, me and Ryan were in the same car. Uh, Ryan drove all the way there, and then half of the ride back, and then he made me drive back, and I was sad. <laughs> oh, hey. What did you get for signing that paper? And why did I sign that paper? I could sign <laughs> the rental car. Because I would happen to be there, and just in case something happened. Uh, but the trip is fine. This is our third time. Th well, my third time gone. I'm not sure about Ryan, but I know it's definitely... It's, we're the same. Every time you've gone, I've gone, basically. Okay, so... Uh, it's our uh, third time going to Utah, and I'd say this time, in my personal opinion, it was the best. It was the best. Were you, it was. Was... I liked it. Mm hmm Oh, there we go, card of demise. And look, yep, price is already going down. Oh my Dude. fucking god, what the hell is that shit? 8,000 tribute summon! Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah damn. So card of demise, draw into the majesty being like, damn, just a rip. Wow. Uh, and see, this fall with card demise, but hey, you got... Uh, deeper into your deck and more back row like uh, Vanity Stream with plus and back row like sorry Taco like you're probably gonna be eating the taco because <laughs> he's gonna be eating that taco dick <laughs> you know um, why oh, I was gonna say like did he just lance his vanities damn he's, he's just like he's just like fuck it if anybody tries to come at me with fucking like a regeki or something nah that lance though <laughs> how do say like um like this man, this man, Renya over here is just being a dick, but I can't, I mean, Taco Lido, you know, he's playing fucking Infinity.deck, so I can't really say anything either. Playing Wait, is this Cyber Dragons or Dino Mists? Infinity.deck, anything that has level 5 machines to make Infinity. And he's certainly built it wrong then, if that's what he's doing, because <laughs> shit. We saw the Dino Mist, we saw the Galaxy Soldier, we saw the Cyber Dragon, we saw the Dry, like, it's, it's Infinity.deck. Oh, there we go. So Top got, deck for the win. I say y'all, and pop that uh, Forbidden Lance. The Twin Twisters last time. Oh. Oh, shit. Overload Fusion. Go ahead and summon, uh, oh, drop the Maxi. Uh, summon uh, Twin, I believe. Oh, no, Rampage. And Rampage popped those two set cards, I'm assuming. Yeah. Come on, do it. Do it. In fact, hit, get hit with a Solemn Strike, I'm assuming. Really? How do you not know what the fuck that does? Yep. Oh, yep, there's Strike. Yep, that's what I'm saying, Strike, like, ridiculous-ass card, and it's just like, Konami, why didn't you hit that? Why didn't you do a lot of things? Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! is really starting to grain on me lately. <laughs> it really is. I 
the way things going, man, I don't even. What the fuck? Mm hmm. <laughs> this guy's just like anti meta out the ass. Like, holy shit. Seriously, he's just like, fuck you. You're not doing shit. I'm gonna summon a better vanity fiend. Yep. So, is that game Taco Leader? Because this man's pretty much just fuck you. Then There's still... no way he's gonna get over that without like Regeki, and he already used it. Yeah. So. That's GG. GG. What a great game. This game of Yu-Gi-Oh! is so fun. I was gonna say, like, the, um... Yeah, the, the way that the, the game's going, like, I was gonna play in the regional, but then, after seeing how many fucking PK fires there were... So... I take PK fire. I already... I sat in one game with Aaron, just to, uh, just to do whatever, just to play test, and it was a two-hour fucking game. And we didn't realize it until we finished it. Yep. And that's when you're just like, nah... Because there were so many PK fires. Like I said, I'll go into more detail about my matchups and uh, the deck profile. The deck that I played will go up uh, uh, tomorrow. But God, so many PK fires. Oh, we should go ahead and get another duel to commentate on, sort of, while we talk. Since yeah. he went scooped. I mean, goddamn. Yeah, you got fucking said, raped. You got raped. Like, that, that should be a fucking illegal. We need to call the fucking police on that one. That's holy shit. <laughs> Alright, bear back. <laughs> Alright, we found another duel. If you can hear slightly hear the vacuum in the background, I apologize. It's Melvin. No one I, I really need to move out. Like <laughs> Anyway. We have Early Bird at a thousand eighty nine and Frank Zarlar one two three at eleven fourteen, so we're probably seeing some meta decks here. No, we're not gonna <laughs> see shit. We're not gonna see shit. Alright. Rip. Be right back again. Alright people, we've got another duel, so uh, as you can clearly see, uh, Carter Demise set for Carter Demise drawn to two, like it's definitely I think it's definitely gonna be playing some back row heavy S decks like Yusunju and fucking Tellers or something like that. Like I don't think it's a great card, I think it's kind of bit booty, especially with how aggressive it is, but if you can go ahead and set a whole bunch of back row and card demise and draw into more shit shenanigans, then fuck it, you know. Uh Banished Scythe. Uh, he didn't have a choice. Card oh, demise. yeah, it gets discarded. Yeah, okay. card demise, so. Yep, anyway, we have Echilio at uh, 561 and Panasonico BC at 1157. Seeing Pana over here just using fucking just hate, anti meta hatred. God damn. I mean, we're just seeing some dirty fucking shit here on fucking DN today. Like, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> yes, card of demise locking you down with fucking just the hatred. Like, wow. <laughs> anyway, uh, how long were we there? About three days. Three we days? got there like early Friday. Damn. Damn. D see, like, what are we watching right now? Oh, these duels are cringe. Yeah, I mean, like I said, see, they get card of demise and they think, like, oh shit, this is getting dirty time. Just gonna play a ass ton of back row with anti-meta and hatred <laughs> it's ridiculous it really is <laughs> right uh, yeah the, I there? think the stuff up in Utah was just a I, I don't know everybody had it seemed like I had a good time there wasn't like anybody being douchey the only thing that besides Reno's play the only other one that confused me till someone found it was how two megalos made a titanic galaxy yeah yeah uh there was a Atlantean Mermo guy who uh, teched in the one that's when it's in the graveyard you can banish to increase all your Mermo levels by either one or two. So he was playing that. And uh, he just happened to go ahead and uh, increase the level of his two Megalos to eight and make Tagatagant Galaxy. So that was actually one of the techs at uh, Utah Regionals. Interesting, interesting. Oh, yeah. And it looks like we're seeing some Burning Abyss, so some actual meta. Like, is it Burning Abyss or is it PK Fire? <laughs> it's probably PK Fire. Apologize if I'm like coughing here. I'm like trying to hold it, it back. It looks like pure burning abyss. Yo, pure burning abyss. Let's go. Yeah. Make that Beatrice. Yeah, the fiendish rhinos and all that. Definitely pure burning abyss. I don't believe PK Fire plays uh, fiendish rhino, or you shouldn't at least. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> uh, the only other thing that I was surprised, and I'm gonna say this right now, for a Yu-Gi-Oh standard, when you have a female judge for the first time in the room, not counting Julia. This chick was cute as fuck. <laughs> yeah, she was cute, but was she a good judge? 
Hell no. No, no, no. <laughs> she got she got appealed every single time. Like, I really can't even call her a judge. Like I, I would call her a person who devotes to just reading the card. Yeah. That's all she was doing. She's like, like, what does it do? Yeah. Oh, like, it does that. No. Yeah, she would read the card, but she wouldn't understand the context of the card. And that could be a real problem, because sometimes you don't know. You can go ahead and read the card all you want, but you won't understand how the cards interact. And that, that and you need to be more than just a simple card reader judge. So she she was a female. She played Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm assuming. And oh, dude. At the end of the day, she got the fuck out of there. <laughs> and I'm assuming the only reason she got the job is because she's a judge that is willing to do it with tits, so... She, from what I heard, that's what uh, Kevin said, is she re the reason why she was there is because she is the first female judge in Utah to pass the test. So they just automatically had her come in, and I'm like, that is probably the worst thing you could do. Yep, so... Damn, all those effects going to go off. Yeah. But yeah, it's like, I, I, I understand. I, it's just, that is probably the worst mentality you could take with any form of job like that. Because all you're doing is throwing her into a, in just the the wolves den on that one i mean come on it's a guy's get it's a bunch it was a sausage fest it was like two girls and one i cannot say um <laughs> i don't know what it was <laughs> but um it, it, it was just it was just really i felt bad for her i really felt bad for her yeah you know, I, I, I must admit, I did appeal one of her... I appealed her rulings. They were bad, and while she's cute, I mean, I, I don't got time. I got, I'm got i trying to win here. And you're gonna fucking, you know, rule me wrong? Like, I'm sorry, you know? And after I'm done getting this victory, then, you know, you, know, you want to go ahead and give me them digits, then let's go. But, uh, <laughs> besides that, like, no. Uh, so, as we... You might have missed it, but uh, one of our Kevin... Uh, one of our Kevins, one of our friends, Kevin, was actually a judge, uh... At the Utah Regionals, you know, uh, you get paid decently, I guess. Thirty bucks and uh, twenty-four packs for doing a regional. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, don't you get mats too, or mat? No, that's YCS. Oh. YCS, you get paid. You get Buku shit. You get everything. What is he doing? I don't know. How are you veiling? Is it your turn? I uh, guess he wants to veil during the end main end phase one, and then. During the end phase, summon that. I guess that was it. So he's gonna fight Valor the the Patchy Cephalo, and then summon with Fog Blade back. So Wait, how do you drop Valor in end phase? Uh, I don't know. I'm assuming it was end of main phase. Like I don't know. I'm assuming it's end end of main phase too. Okay. And that his opponent just clicked the button before he could really do anything. You know. Okay. I was gonna say like um no. <laughs> All right, whatever. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, it's um, for the judging. Like all I know is for the regionals, you get like twenty-four packs. It actually worked out for him. I don't know if he got extra money just because he traveled out there with us. But um, all I know is that you get twenty-four packs. He opened up a solemn strike, so it actually made it worth it. Yeah. But it's those packs are random, so you don't know if you're gonna actually make the amount of money you wanted to make or not. I mean, he opened up double strike with twenty-four packs before. After the Vegas Regional, so... Ooh. Double Dyna. How'd he get banished? Uh, the Dante dies too. No, never mind, never mind. Yeah, I was gonna say, why'd he get banished? The, I... the... Oh, it's because he summoned it back with Fogblade. Fogblade, after the monster summons, if it dies, it goes to the banish zone. Oh, I never, re I never remember that, because they never let that happen. They always succeed with it, so... Nope. <clears throat> Don't twist her once again... What the hell is he playing? Yeah, oh. I think he's just playing just to equip. What? Why? I'm assuming that the set card is a blade. No? He's just trying to grab, but what's the point? You can't special summon. Okay, so get back Sir, and I guess start trying to beat over the, the Fossil Dinos as a 16 beater. Oh my god. Okay. That better be a Skarm right there. That better be something that's not the Sir that you just grab back, I swear to god. What the fuck? Yo, what the hell? <laughs> wow. Okay, didn't didn't see that coming. Oh, yo, it's a Farfa. No, fuck your Dinah. <laughs> fuck your Dinah. Damn. I would say, is there anything that you want to do during the end phase or anything along those lines, or no? Before, like, at the end of main phase two, before the Fossil Dinah comes back? 
you can go ahead and banish some traps and special summon if you want. Ooh. Okay. Sure. Yep. But I uh, know I. <laughs> our friend Kevin was a judge, and uh, you know we tried to. Some most of us tried to be uh, kind and polite when it came to that. You know, let him do his job. Well, one of us decided to be a complete asshole. So uh, <laughs> you've already seen him, uh, the, the guy I'm talking about, uh, the one that ate that uh, that uh, pendulum sorcerer. Him uh, <laughs> during the first round, uh, you know, each judge is stationed in different areas, and where he was doing that in this tournament, uh, Kevin just happened to be the judge for him. And uh, he called over a judge for a ruling, and Kevin comes over, and he's like, no, different judge. So he's already starting off being a dick to him, despite being his friend. <laughs> he then proceeds, uh, what did he do? What did he do? Go, go ahead and say uh, it. Go ahead and tell Oh, uh, what is it? He was, they were pretty much, um, it was right about the turn, I think it was either before the tournament started, or it's when they were getting seated or something. But I know he's with his first opponent, and they haven't started yet. Um... Or maybe they did. I think he did call him over, and then they started uh, just having too much fun. And uh, Wiener was like, "Is that his opponent?" Was like, "Is that your friend?" No, he's an asshole. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't know <laughs> and then Kevin's like, "I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a game loss. I'm gonna give you this dick." <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, there's no, no punches thrown. He was just being an asshole, and this, and it is PK fire. I okay. didn't really see. I thought it was just gonna be pure burning abyss, like uh, Rhino and, P and PK fire, like really. Like, where's your, where's your, uh... He's probably not doing the speed roids. So. Yeah, like, where's your speed roids? I kind of like the speed roids. Right? There's a few, there's, like, a couple variants where one does speed roids, the other one doesn't. The one that Wiener had was the one that didn't, and I just didn't like it, because Rhino is always a dead fucking card. Yeah, In true. your hand, it's like, you can't put it with anything, because you always have to do other stuff. Mm-hmm, Oh, look, uh, rip. Yeah, rip. I guess we're going to game three. Um, yeah, it was, a. Uh... Yeah, with that, it was the funniest thing, because everyone at that table just couldn't hold themselves. <laughs> um, I think the, I think the fun, I think the saddest thing that happened is when we were driving up there. It's, it's at night, so, okay, it's one, it's at night. I'm, I'm seeing cops everywhere, for one, but it's like, there's also a fuck ton of speed limit signs. I mean, we were driving through Arizona, it was like 65, like literally two feet later was 55, and after that was 45, and I'm like, bipolar, what? <laughs> Holy shit, and then like down the road? We passed a 75. I'm going down. We ended up going down a mountain hill thing. And, my, you know, of course, cars speed up. And then I get pulled over. Yep. And he's like, well, I've been following you for a little bit. And it's, you, you seem to be going all over. The I'm like, dude, there's like 10 billion signs. He's like, oh, yeah, there's a 70 mile per hour. I'm like, what sign did you see that one at? Yeah, like, we didn't pass 75. And he was like, oh, 70. And he's like, oh, you were going, like, you know, like, 83 and 70 zone. And it'll reach, like, 75 and, like, 16 miles down. So, we actually ended up still getting away with only a, what, a warning. But Not a warning. No, but getting away with that was the funny part. He's like, he was a nice guy. Don't get me wrong. He was a nice guy. He actually asked, is this a, uh, how are you guys doing tonight? Is this your, he didn't go for the straight paperwork. He, I just had that shit ready because I know that's what they ask. <clears throat> but, um. He asked us like, "Are you guys from around here?" He's like, "No, nah, where'd you guys got? Where are you guys coming from? We're coming from Las Vegas. Is this your first time here?" My dumb ass gets nervous, and I'm like, uh, "Yes, this is our first time here." <laughs> um, um. He actually was. I I can't believe he did not see past that. I'm sitting here. I'm like, "Oh my god." Phantom knights are not banished. Oh, what did he do? He exceeded with them. Um, he took the two Phantom Knights, exceeded into Breaksword, and the Breaksword got compulsed. So they're in the graveyard because they were XC materials. Was Ban was Banisher on the field already? Oh, it's Banisher. Never mind. Never mind. I was paying attention to uh, uh, Dimensional Fissure. Banisher. Damn, he has everything. This man's just hatred. Look, what's up with the hatred today? Well, I don't know. It's uh, I wouldn't even know what to do against that. It's. That's like the uh, Yosenju player from, like, last time we were at Utah had Yosenjus and played one random-ass Banisher of Radiance and fucked the game up because of that. Just so much hatred. It's like, what's up? Is this what people are doing to get their rating up on the end? Just hatred? Basically. Looks like it. I don't even know what I would do. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Fuck you. Run it. Rhino runs it over. Just hatred monsters with hatred back row playing fucking Card of Demise to get more hatred. Like... This PK fire dude is just either really bad or just opened up shit. 
Like I would have had, I would have had at least something to follow up that rhino, not just summon rhino and just end turn. Like that's stupid. That's bad. Like any twin twisters? Like where are your where's your sword? Like if you could summon a beater and start beating over the banisher, you could definitely have an advantage. Nah. What the fuck? Nah. Like you ain't doing shit. Why'd you set wow. that? Why did you set that? You tarred. You tarred. Like, why did you set that? That's so dumb. Like, you should have utilized that, let alone set it. Like, all right, that's game. That's game. Good job. Good job. That's you bad. lost that. Oh, my God. That was bad. Mm-hmm. So much hatred. He doesn't even know what he's doing with PK Fire. Holy shit. I would have just said, screw it. Activate. Screw it. Twin Twister. So, fuck it. Pop <laughs> something. Anyway. Uh, uh, I don't know. Should we should we talk about milk teas or should we save that for? Well, we can save that for like daily duels. We'll save that for daily duels. Um, yeah, guys, you gotta listen to the milk teas one. That one yeah. was fun. So, was anything fun. else about the Utah trip that was funny or interesting? Uh, well, we had the uh, we we pretty much went to the room. It was the room was nice. The oh god. Oh no, no, we're not gonna <laughs> tell that story, are we? No. We're talking that story. Oh you my god. It. Yeah, go ahead. You already mentioned it. No, I've mentioned it, but if you wanna go ahead and say it. <laughs> Oh god, we so we were sitting in a we went into the hotel. It was raining and snowing and everything. I don't know. The weather was bipolar as fuck up there. We went into the hotel. Kev, uh, all four of us went to the thing. Uh, Kevin and his girl, me and D. The guy that's working behind the counter is all nice, but he's look he looked at Kevin and uh, his girl Ashley, and they were holding hands. Then he looked at us two, and <laughs> we were like, Yeah, oh, and we're shit. all in the ho same hotel room, so <laughs> you already know what he thought. <laughs> yup. Hey, we are gay lovers. What? Yeah, yeah, and that was pretty much oh. the running joke the entire freaking uh, time there. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. he can think what he wants. Just give us the hotel room. It doesn't matter. Well, we ended up getting an extra bed out of it, so why the fuck not? Yeah. Um, it was uh, it wasn't bad. The room was nice. I actually really liked that place. I didn't seem they gave a fuck, and it was the first hotel I've ever stayed in that we could actually take the breakfast food right up to our room. Yep. So the way that we strategize is that. Uh, since it was the four of us that went, they knew the four of us, but the other four, of course, they didn't know. Uh, so when they gave us the breakfast tickets, they checked us in so you couldn't come back or reuse them or anything or hand them off. So the way we do is us four would go and eat breakfast, and then since we could take food up, we would text the, the other the other four, hey, what do you want? And we'd end up bringing what they want back up to the room, and they get to eat breakfast as well. So it's kind of a smart strategy. <laughs> Are you kidding? I think we overthunk that a little bit because they were like, okay, how are we going to get these four fucks in here? Because the way that it was organized, no matter what we did, we had to pass through the lobby. There was no side entrance. The fucking stairs were emergency fire exits. Mm -hmm. There were no just, hey, you could just take the stairs if you felt like it. So me and Ryan are sitting there trying to strategize how to get them up there. And then literally they were like, oh, we're up here now. <laughs> like they just uh... sort of fucked the strategy and just walked up and came up the elevator. And uh, like I said, they didn't seem to mind. Uh, I said the rooms were nice, despite being eight of us and being only two queen-sized beds. I actually had a couch that pulled out, so uh, I believe like seven of us had something to sleep on, and then one of us decided to sleep in a closet, but then exit the closet and sleep on the floor. And he was afraid to fall out. Yeah, he's afraid to fall. Out. <laughs> God damn it, Reno! <laughs> Overall, it's a fun time. Uh, uh, food was fine. We ate a lot of pizza. We went out and ate. Uh, uh, we ended up picking up some alcohol and drinking a little bit and having a grand time. So it, it, it was a fun time. You know, I totally wouldn't mind going back again. If available. I know there's another regional in Utah. I believe the same place on May 17th. So like a month from now. But we're Maybe not sure. It's like May 21st, but are we going to get the days off? I don't know if I will. My yeah. boss has already given me enough days off. <laughs> Stop it. And you want to take today and you want to take today off. Eh. Yeah, you f days. No, you right, fuck. Got, like, you better stay on the, the good best behavior for the next month and just be like, hey. So. Oh, she's cool. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and uh, continue talking and all that uh, in Daily Duels, so we'll go ahead and cut it out for now. So, uh, yeah. just, you're seeing the hatred. Carter Demise plus hatred plus back row plus three strikes plus, you know, we may have three twin twisters, but is it enough? Sometimes it isn't. So, uh, thank you, uh, Ryan, for joining me. Hey, thank you for having me. So uh, the link to uh, uh, Ninja TV will be in the link in the description. Go over to the channel. Uh, he's back to producing content, so you guys can go ahead and check it out. But already, you know, you already know what uh, from that guest upload from yesterday. What's going on with that? So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys uh, on Thursday with some more daily duels. Thanks for watching, daily duels. Deando commentary. I'm an idiot. Thanks for watching. <laughs>